and now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical weather bulletin for September 25th. Well, the tropics getting increasingly quiet now with Dolphin now a uh, remnant or extratropical storm and Lowell still going in the eastern Pacific but a bit weaker now at 45 miles per hour. So far we've seen 75 storms develop this year around the world. Day 117 of Atlantic hurricane season, the remnants of Beta and Paulette can still be tracked. Uh, Beta in particular delivering heavy weather over parts of the southern United States and a 20% chance on an area of interest in the western Atlantic that we've marked there for the next five days. In the eastern Pacific, Lowell there still at 45 miles per hour and will probably gradually weaken as it moves on towards the central Pacific. A 10% chance we've marked for the day five period off the coast of Mexico. Chances will probably start to increase as we get closer to that time. In the western Pacific, Dolphin moving on uh, beyond the Japanese islands uh, soon, soon, fairly soon I should think. Uh, and elsewhere we've got those two areas of interest, 10% and a 40% now on the right hand side. That will probably be our next tropical cyclone, should stay out to sea. No systems active in the North Indian Ocean or indeed anywhere else around the world. Southern Hemisphere of course as you'd expect. Still quiet at this point. Here's the North Atlantic right now. You can see on the left hand side uh, the influence from Beta over a large part of the United States. The eastern side you can just about make out the remnants of uh, Paulette to the northwest of Madeira. And you can see uh, the colouring there as it got dark. The dry air potentially still from those fires believe it or not. And in the Atlantic, uh, the Gulf of Mexico I should say, that's how it looks right now. Fairly quiet actually. The Eastern Pacific, um, a few little blow-ups here and there, uh, models suggesting that there could be uh, significant activity next week in this basin, but we've seen that before, models have uh, under overestimated all of that. And you can see Lowell there on the left-hand side, it's got the appearance of a storm that's really on the wane on its way out now. In the Western Pacific, there are one or two other areas of interest, um, well of course the ones we've pointed out, that um, sprawling uh, area of cloud near the northern Mariana Islands may well be something and to the east there you can see that system as well which is very disorganized but that could become that 40% storm. Also a little bit of uh, blow up in the Philippine Sea, very outside chance that we could get a brief spin up there too. The South Pacific looking extremely quiet, uh, one of the quietest we've seen it really and the Indian Ocean, um, a massive monsoonal area there expanding across the Bay of Bengal once again through Sri Lanka and southern India but apart from that not much going on um, apart from some heavy weather uh, near the Himalayas. Sea surface temperatures then in the eastern Pacific temperatures around 30 degrees or more along the uh, immediate coast along the coast of Mexico. Out to sea a bit further though and temperatures start to decrease especially where Lowell is right now temperatures will be off the boil well below 26 degrees by now. The subtropical Atlantic still uh, below average after that um, succession of hurricanes, cold trail there, but the areas that matter right now, the Caribbean Sea and the southern Gulf of Mexico still above 30 degrees quite comfortably. The Indian Ocean temperatures over 30 degrees again off the uh, eastern coast of India and Bangladesh. Bay of Bengal will be an area to watch in that second peak later in the year. And uh, this is the uh, western Pacific which again you can get something that just blows up at any time of year really but especially as we enter the last three months of the year you could see something ignite at the moment though no sign of that but very warm sea surface temperatures will keep it ticking over uh, the anomalies then uh, well above average in the western pacific you can quite clearly see the la nina effect looks like it's getting stronger every day and it extends well into the western pacific by now the atlantic you can see quite clearly that cold area near bermuda but the uh, caribbean and the western atlantic north of the uh, greater antilles above average and the uh, main development region back to africa as well on September 25th, 1998, a rare occasion of four hurricanes active in the North Atlantic. So uh, if you thought that what we had earlier this month was pretty crazy, it was to an extent. Uh, we've had a bit worse in, in the form of this. Uh, George is moving on past the Florida Keys, entering the Gulf of Mexico as a Category 2 
Jean uh, out at sea in the main development region, uh, developing category two. Ivan and Carl in fairly close proximity to each other out at sea. Ivan potentially uh, delivering a threat to the Azores. Well, in the mad world of the Atlantic in 2020, we are in the Greek alphabet uh, over a month initially ahead of 2005 the next name on the list is gamma in the eastern pacific the next name is marie and in the central pacific the next name on list one is hone in the western pacific we're looking out for kajira followed by chan hom in the north indian ocean we're still waiting for gatti and in the southern hemisphere as things start to warm up soon a month or two at least um, imogen is next up in the australian region uh, Alicia first for the Southwest Indian Ocean in the South Pacific, the next name is Yolanda. That's all for now, we'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow.